beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my yearly palette collection and declutter. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this video. I am in the middle of my declutter series. I'm having a five part declutter series on my channel. If you want to see more declutter videos from me, I will leave the playlist up here in the corner. This is going to be palettes and the next episode is going to be the last one for this year. I usually do these once a year and that's going to be lip products. There's going to be quite a lot of palettes. I don't even know how many palettes, but I know I got rid of so many as well. Giving them to friends, giving them to family. I have a lot of people around me that really love makeup, but just never buy any for, for themselves. So this is usually... <laughs> Christmas time for them to be honest. If you know how many palettes I'm showing in this video let me know in a comment and I will put that in the title because I would love to put it. I just forgot to I forgot to count them. If you haven't been there before, my name is Angie. Hello, I am a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful makeup. I'm wearing something slightly colorful today. It's like a little bit hint of a smoky purple. I did film this look and it's already live. I will leave a link down in the description box. If you want to see some more color in your timeline, maybe you want to see some more declutters, maybe you want to see some more indie brands or fun things that you might not see on every other channel, please do not forget to subscribe. We're in the middle of Vlogmas right now. I'm putting up one video every day until Christmas, but I usually put up around four, five, six sometimes seven videos a week normally as well, so you do get quite a lot of content from me. I would like to put in a teensy weensy little disclaimer as well. I hate doing disclaimers, but just so you know, nobody needs this much makeup. I know I have a lot of makeup, but this is what I do. I review things on YouTube. I try all of it so you don't have to. So I can help you find dupes, similar things, great formulas, hidden gems, and also help you to not make mistakes. You know, I'm taking a bullet for the team here, trying things that sometimes are really bad. And now, in this video, you can know all of the bad things <laughs> that I'm getting rid of. So don't say this is a benchmark. This isn't the amount of makeup that anyone should be having, but like, this is, this is what I do. This, this is my thing. So with all of that being said, let's get into the declutter because it's going to be long. There is a lot of palettes. Okay, welcome to this uh, palette collection and declutter. I think I'm going to start with these palettes. Listen, there's a lot of palettes. I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat it. There's going to be a lot of palettes. This pile right here are palettes that I... They're, they're my newest palettes. Palettes that I either haven't uh, hauled yet haven't tried yet or haven't reviewed yet. That's what this is. So I have a couple of BH Cosmetics. I have the Trendy in Tokyo. I, I have been so into BH Cosmetics. I do have a, a look with this one. And this is the Mimosa. When I'm filming this, I still haven't tried Mimosa, but I'm actually filming with Mimosa tomorrow. So you should have already seen a video with the Mimosa on my channel. And then I have the Avocado Toast. Oh, this I already filmed with on my channel as well. I want to film something more. I think this is just such a beautiful green and neutral palette. And then I have another BH Cosmetics. Let, let me have this right here because it's at the side. This is the Naughty palette. This is the Holiday palette. It is huge, but it's really pretty. I do have a video swatching this and doing two looks with this palette. Spoiler alert, I really, really like what Beach Cosmetics has been putting out lately, so I'm super intrigued uh, to be trying out more Beach Cosmetics. I also have the two uh, Holiday Palettes by Juvia's Place here. It's a Nubian Glow with the gold, and then there is the Nubian Royal, which is the purple. Both of these palettes I have looks with as well, and I also have the Wahala 2, it's over here. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Let me pull my sleeves up. This is the Wahala 2. It also came out now for a uh, holiday. This is really, really pretty. And I had a lot more fun with this than I thought I would once I used it. So I have uh, three looks with this one. And I have, well, I have four looks with this one because I have a first impression and I have three looks and I have one look each with these. They're live on my channel. I also have a video where I am ranking all of my Juvia's Place palettes in case you're interested. This is the holiday collection from Nabla. This is the side-by-side -side nude palette. I do have a video using this one as well. It is a nude palette. It's not very my style, but I do love the Nabla quality, so I was excited to try it. They also came out with this Ruby uh, Ruby Lights glitter, uh, press glitter palette. 
This is the same formula as the Miami Lights that they came up with this summer. And then we have this one. This is the Terra Moon El Barrio palette. This palette I also did a video with swatching and doing a look. This is the Terra Moon Cosmetics first eyeshadow palette. It's a really, really nice palette. They make really nice eyeshadows. Um, I'm gonna save the sleeve for that one. Then I have the Melt Radioactive Palette. This came back in stock at Beauty Bay, so I decided to pick it up. I wanna try as many Melt palettes as possible. I wanna get the Gemini. My hope is that I can snag it for a Black Friday sale. I don't know if you, you're probably seeing this after Black Friday. <laughs> Maybe you already know if I got it or not. This is the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome. This packaging is so pretty. This palette, I have a first impression and I have two looks up with this one. So if you wanna see some looks with this and some dupes for this one, that is already live on my channel. And this is the first Beauty Bay palette that I bought. This is the, I think it's called the Book of Magic. Yeah, Book of Magic. I like this palette, but I don't love it. I have used it a bit since I filmed with it. Um, maybe I will film something more with it before I review it, but it's not my favorite. I prefer the BH Cosmetics Forma a lot over this one if you want to get an affordable palette with some fun colors. This is one that I got from Look Fantastic. This is the new palette from Ila Masca. What is this called? Movement Artistry Palette. Uh, that is what this one looks like. It is a bit more like muted colors. Uh, I've only used it once. I have no idea if I'm gonna keep it or not, but all of these palettes are staying until I've reviewed them. This is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream palette. I do have a one palette, three looks up with this palette. In case you're interested with swatches and everything, I really, really like the Glam Light like shimmer formula. I just, it's one of my favorite shimmer formulas. They make really, really, where, where am I open to put this? Really, really stunning shimmers. Oh my god, I really like the Glam Life formula. I think they make really great eyeshadows. I also have this one. This one isn't even unpacked. Wait, let me take the eyeshadows off. This is the Stone Cold Fox. I got this sent to me by Colourpop. Uh, this is their the Cool Tone Neutral palette that they released now for autumn. They sent this to me as PR. Uh, some people were really interested in seeing something, some people were not. Uh, I might film something, I haven't decided yet, it depends on how much time I have. I kind of like taking neutral palettes and making them like my type of look, like making them really dramatic or trying to make them as colorful as possible. So I might end up doing that with this one. And then we have this one. This is the Juicy Boost by Color Drain. Uh, this is the booklet kind. I do have a video of trying this. I wasn't blown away by the quality, but I am gonna try it a bit more before I review it. You probably already saw a review of this. Um, I'm just showing you palettes that I know I'm not gonna declutter because I'm in the process of reviewing them. And this is the this is from Sigil Inspire, so this is in Russian. This is their, I think it's Lively Lavender Chinchilla. It's a really pretty palette. I just got this one. I haven't even taken a picture of it. It's it's really nice, and I'm super uh, intrigued to be trying the Sigil Inspired Pressed Shadow Formula. This is the first uh, pressed eyeshadows that I have from the brand. Maybe there's already a video up of, of this one. If you're interested, do check out um, my latest videos to see if I have this up. But I am aiming to film something with this. I'm super ex uh, excited to film. I, I f it feels really nice, and the eyeshadows look really nice. So those are the palettes that are the newest to my collection that I know for a fact that I'm not going to declutter. So let me get rid of these, and then I'll start... Uh, brand by brand show you uh, what I have. Okay, here are my UV Space palettes. I'm gonna quickly go through these because like I mentioned in just a little while ago, I do have a video quite recently that went up with all of these palettes where I'm ranking them from my least favorite to my most favorite. I'm not gonna get rid of any of them though because I do love UV Space. I bought most of these palettes myself. This is the Magic palette. Uh, I do have a affiliate code with UV Space. It is my first name. Angelica, Angelica, and it will save you 10% at Juvia's Place. But I did buy most of these palettes myself. Uh, I think I only got two of them in PR. So this is the Masquerade. This is the first palette that I got from the brand. I bought this on pre-sale back in the days. Ugh, memories. This is the Saharan 2. I think that this might be discontinued, which is a shame because this is so wonderful. Like this shimmer right here. Like this shimmer from the Saharan 2. Like I'm so so sad that this seems to be discontinued. It is truly a beautiful shadow, so I'm so sad about that. This is the Tribe. 
this is wonderful. I'm so happy that they brought this one back. This is so beautiful. That the like green, wonderful, oh, so pretty. So yeah, I'm just quickly gonna go through because I am keeping all of these. Uh, I am. S this is one of the few brands where I'm actually like collecting. This is the Festival palette. Love this one. This red is amazing. This is the Warrior palette. This is one of the palettes that I got in PR. And this is why, honestly, I own this individual <laughs> palette. Very goldy palette. Then we have the Warrior 3. Very colorful palette. Look at that. Oh, such a fun palette. Then we have the Sulu, an oldie but a goodie. Oh my god, I've had so much fun with this palette. It's pretty old though in my collection, but boy, I love that one. This is the Nomad. This is like a neutral palette with a twist. A bit more like grungy, some khaki, some yellows. Really pretty. I know that this palette is a lot of people's favorite. This is the Deuce palette or the Duce. I never know which one it is, but this is what she looks like. Like this shade right here, I understand why a lot of people are like head over heels for this because this shade truly is a really pretty pinky duochrome. It is a very, very cool shadow and I totally understand why a lot of people went crazy for that. This is the Nubian 3 Coral. It is a very interesting neutral palette with a bit of a twist as well. Oh my god, let's not uh, tip these over. This is the Saharan Original. Not my favorite, but I know a lot of people love it. This is the Afrique. Don't like the inside packaging of this, but I've had a lot of fun with these colors. I think this is a fun and nice palette. Then we have the Nubian 2. This is a nice palette. Like, don't sleep on this palette. It has some really, really nice shades. Like, oh my god, this hand is going crazy, but look at that. Oh, so pretty! This is the Wahala one. So this is the one that came out before. This one is a multi-chrome. Uh, the Wahala two also has a multi-chrome uh, that is uh, of another color. Uh, wait, let me show you. I don't know if you can see the green to blue to purple. So if you were looking for that kind of multi-chrome, this palette has that. Uh, and let me le put out, these are the other mini palettes that I have, except the two, oh my god, dusty, except the two that now came in the holiday set. Uh, I do have these two neutral ones, the taupes, not my favorite, and the nudes, not my favorite. Not quality wise, but just they're too light and too neutral for me. This is the chocolates, very dark and yummy. I do like that one. I think this is my favorite. Oh, this is my favorite, the berries. This color is spectacular. Where am I gonna put the, let's put it here. Like, do you see that? This whole hand is glorious. Oh, so pretty. This is the mauves. This also has a really nice color here. Maybe I can see if I can show you this. Like, do you see that on the finger? I hope you can see the duochrome. It's very pretty. It's like a duochrome, like a purple pinky base with like a lime green sheen. It's super pretty. The violets and the sweet pinks. And the sweet pinks has one of my favorite uh, shimmery pinks ever. And let me see if I can put that here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. So yeah. This is why I love Juvia's Place. I just love their quality. And I'm not getting rid of any of these because I just really enjoy all of them. But yeah, let me get <laughs> rid of these and maybe I can find some palettes where I actually do want to declutter. Or maybe I should do all my Colourpop because I don't know if I'm going to declutter any Colourpop either. But let me bring out my Colourpops because I know I have a lot of those as well. Okay, so here are my Colourpop palettes. I have a lot of these... Uh, 12 pound ones and now the 9 pound ones. Uh, this is the biggest Colourpop palette I have except the one they sent to me as PR. Uh, the Stone Cold... It's, it's the, the Chili Fox one. This one is the Garden Variety. I like this palette but I'm not head over heels so I think I am gonna declutter this one. I think it's nice. It's just not a palette that I would pick in the sea of palettes that I have, I think that I am gonna declutter this and I'm sure that someone is gonna really love it. I feel the same about this one, the Coast to Coral. Um, 
it's decent. Not my favorite, but I'm sure that people that don't like as dramatic makeup as me is gonna enjoy this one. Uh, this one is an old palette, the Pretty Much palette. They discontinued this one and I'm so sad about it because it's so pretty. Like, this is so pretty. I am gonna keep it though. I still do bring this one from time to time when I go traveling. <laughs> oh, traveling. How I miss you. Good sport. This is, according to me, the best Colourpop palette that's ever been made, at least when I'm filming this video. Beautiful palette, unfortunately discontinued, but I don't want to get rid of it. Here is one palette that I think I can get rid of. It's beautiful though, like this packaging, oh yum. This is the Zodiac palette, it's the Kathleen Light and Colourpop. I just don't love this color scheme. I don't. I understand that there was a thought behind it, I just don't love it and I also don't think that this is amazing quality. So I'm actually gonna declutter that one. Oh, this is the My Little Pony, oh I love this one. Such a nice palette. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. I really like that one. Here is one that surprised me. This is the All That. This palette? Actually really nice. Really nice palette. These two reds are actually quite red on the eyes. I remember I did a look with this one. This is a nice Colourpop palette. And I think I'm gonna keep this one over this one. The old... Um, uh, the old She palette by Karuchi and Colourpop. This was the old like reddish palette I had, but I think I prefer this one. The reds in this one are deeper. So I think I'm gonna keep uh, the all that over the Rosa uh, Femme. Is it the She palette or Femme Rose? I don't know. That one has to go. Sweet Talk palette. I know a lot of people really, really love this one. I just don't reach for this palette that much. I actually reach for this one more when it comes to like neutrals. I don't know why. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that one and I'm gonna keep this one instead. If I want a neutral look, it happens that I reach for this one. Although I will say that I don't know if this is gonna survive another declutter since I've gotten some new neutral palettes in PR, but it's gonna survive this one at least. Then we have the Nine Pan palettes. These are the ones that was like pastel and like in pastel mix that came out uh, this year. I like, I'm not head or heels for these, but I like them enough to keep them another declutter. I think they're nice and they're especially nice to wear, like to use together with other palettes. So uh, they get to stay. They get to stay. I like them. Then we have the monochromatic palettes, the, the like, what do I want to say? The, like the initial monochromatic palettes that came out. This one isn't a monochromatic palette, the Strawberry Shake. It's a nice palette but it's not a monochromatic palette. I will say when you look at like, like do you need all of these? Do you? <laughs> do you? No, you don't. So I'm actually gonna give this one away. I think a friend's really gonna enjoy this one. So I'm gonna keep these two. I think I'm gonna keep all the monochromatic palettes. This orange one. I really like this one. Oh my god, now I wanted to use that one. This blue moon just has the most amazing blue tones. If you want to add some blue to your life, I a million percent recommend this one. I think it's absolutely wonderful. And I like this one. I know, shocker, but I like this one more than I like the blue ice cream shop palette by BH Cosmetics. Although I really like those, but I like the tones of this one more. Though when it comes to the green palettes, I do like the green palette from BH Cosmetics more than I like these but they still get to stay because I think they're nice palettes. Uh, so they get to stay. The, this was the mint to be. Then we have the uh -huh, Honey. I can't say that because I'm Swedish and I'm obviously lost. Not my favorite monochromatic palette, but since I'm uh, keeping the others, this gets to stay too. And then we have the uh, two purpley ones. I like both of these. I think both of these are wonderful. And I think that uh, both of these might be they're at least top five favorite Colourpop palettes I own. I think they're really, really nice palettes, so they also get to stay. I really like this palette as well. I don't know if it's enough for me to like keep it because I don't know if anyone's gonna wanna see anything with this. My God, stop it. I think it's a nice palette. I had fun with this palette. This is a duochrome pink. I thought that this was... I thought that this was nice. It was a nice palette, but I don't know if it's enough for me to keep it. Does anyone want to see anything with this? And I will say that right now, if I want to use a palette again, I think right right now I'm I'm longing to use this one again. The orange you glad. <sighs> so pretty. So pretty. I adore that one. So I'm gonna get rid of these. 
quite a few palettes. I said I wasn't gonna get rid of any Colourpop and here I am, decluttering like there is no tomorrow. Here's just a mix, mixed bag of things. I forgot to show you the mini Sendo before. I do have that one in the pile of things that I haven't reviewed yet. I have three mini palettes from Natasha Denona. The Retro, the mini Sendo and the mini Tropic. Uh, I like them. I like all three. I'm gonna keep all three. I think these are nice palettes. Uh, I enjoy them. I like having them. I don't know if there's any of the other minis that she has that I'm like, oh, I wanna own them, but... I like these. This is the other uh, glitter palette from Nabla. This is the Miami Lights one. I like Nabla. I do have all of their palettes. I'm gonna keep this one for reference. I think it's really nice. I do have a couple of small palettes here. Uh, I did try a lot of Viseart this year. I'm not gonna show you all of my like quads and stuff, but I'm gonna show you some of these smaller palettes. This is the one that's called Petite Pro Shushu. It's nice. I'm gonna keep all of the Viseart. They're very new in my collection. I'm still getting a hang of the brand. This is the uh, Spritz. Pretty neutral, but I'm still happy I have it. I don't mind having some neutral palettes in my collection. Same here. This is the Paris Edit. It's a cool tone neutral. I like it. I like having a couple of uh, neutral options. Like I said, this is my favorite though. This is the Dark Edit. I think this is a beautiful small palette. I'm so happy I own this one. So those are my palettes from Viseart. I have one palette from Kiko Milano. This is the Tuscan Sunshine palette. I really like this one. I thought that this was a nice palette. So yeah, this one definitely gets to stay in my collection. Uh, and then we have the Huda Beauty Nude. This is another nude palette. This also gets to stay. I really like this one, but... I don't love the other Huda palettes. I don't think that this one, the Khaki Haze, is like bad enough to be like worst palettes of 2020. I don't think it's that, but it's not that good either. So I think I'm actually going to give this away, even though it's such a new palette. I'm also going to give this away, the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions. I didn't mind this palette, but it's discontinued, and if I'm reaching for a colorful palette, it's actually not that one. Here is the holiday palette from Sueva from last year, the Precious. This is a really nice palette. I like small palettes, so I'm going to keep this one as well. Here is two palettes that I'm actually going to get rid of. Not that I dislike them, but I wouldn't reach for these over my monochromatic palettes from other brands. This is the Mini Peach one from Makeup Revolution or Makeup Obsessions or I Heart Revolution or any of those brands, who cares at this point, and the Avocado. I'm sure someone's going to love them, it's just not going to be me. I have the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie palette right here. When I'm filming this, I haven't received the other palette that she made with Colourpop. But I do have this palette and I do have videos. I have videos up with pretty much all of this, let's be honest. And here is the colorful side. I'm also uh, keeping that one. I'm really excited to be supporting Christy. She is one of my favorite creators. This is the uh, Strobe Cosmetics Divinity. They are now Shroud Cosmetics. This is the brand that Betty Jean from Beauty Pin did a collab with. This is the Divinity palette. I really like it and I like supporting in the brands. I'm gonna keep this. I haven't received, I was gonna receive the uh, It's Freaking Bats palette in PR. I haven't received it yet. I still don't know if it's gonna show up or not, but I do love this one as well. This is the Creepy Cute. Who Open up. It's a really nice palette, so those get to stay. Am I getting rid of this one? Oh my god, it's dusty. I love the Dream palette by ABH. Maybe it's time to go. This is a highlighter palette, not an eyeshadow palette, but you know what? I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh wow, that feels very weird. Here's one of the bigger Natasha Denona uh, five pans. This is the Cranberry palette. I really enjoy mine. Like this shadow right here is like crazy. Ugh. Like it is so nice. I love how this looks. It's so pretty. So yeah, I'm keeping this one as well. I think it's really nice. I love Natasha Nona. In case you did not notice, this is the first eyeshadow palette by Linda Halberg. This is the Spectral palette. Uh, I love Linda Halberg as a brand. This abstract is really pretty. It's like a blue bl blurple. That is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm keeping this as well. I really like the brand and I want to keep that one since it's the first one they had. I really like these palettes, but for some reason I've reached for them. But I still like them. I'm gonna keep them. This is the Snow Angels by Dose of Colors. And that's what she looks like. This was the holiday palette two years ago. Or should I get rid of this one? I really liked it though. But it's discontinued and it's a holiday two years ago. You know what? 
Let's be strong. Let's get rid of some things. I mean, can you keep these though? These are still uh, part of their line. They just changed up the packaging. This is the Blushing Berries. I really like this. I think it's good quality. And then it is the Marvelous Mauves. Also those of colors. I really like this as one. Well. This is the... These are my mini palettes by Nabla. Oh, and this one, the NYX of Tropic. Remember, I kept this one to see if I used it. I didn't. Let's give it away. Let's give it away so that someone can get some use out of that one because obviously that person isn't gonna be me. So this is the Nabla Cutie Palette in Wild Berries. This is my favorite. Oh, let me put it up. Beautiful palette. I'm keeping all of these. This is my second favorite. This is the Coral. Love it. This is my least favorite, but I'm still gonna keep it. It is the Nude. Like I said, I have all palettes from Nabla. This is the Platinum looks like that and this is the Metropolitan but yeah I'm keeping all of those I also have some old stacks from Melt I will keep these as well for reference but at some point I might get rid of these not gonna lie uh, this is the this is the she's in party stack that's now a palette I'm gonna show I have the palette too so I'm gonna show you that in a bit and then I have uh, this is the who this is the Love Six stack. I'm surprised that this color scheme didn't make it into a palette, but who knows? Maybe in the future. No one knows. This stack, this is the neon stack. The no, the radioactive stack. This is the neon stack, but it's called the radioactive stack. I also own this palette. I showed you that one just before. So like you see, I don't really need <laughs> these stacks this is the baby girl stack and they have hinted that this stack the baby girl stack is gonna be a palette in the future and I really hope that that happens because I love this like corally rusty tone and then it is the blueprint stack same here I really hope that this color scheme with the brown and the blue that that makes it into a palette I would love that but they get to stay for now but I do realize that if these come out in palettes and the ones that are in palettes probably should be decluttered but for now they get to stay but eventually I'm sure that these will be uh, decluttered but I still got rid of a couple more five more palettes I still feel pretty good about that I mean it could be better but it could be way less as well <laughs> it could be way less Okay, even more palettes. Let's start with, oh my god, I can't believe that this is the life I'm living. <laughs> Let's start with some more Nabla. This is the Nabla Dreamy 2. Like I said, I own all of the Nabla palettes and I really do like Nabla. I like this palette a lot and I am gonna keep it. This was the holiday palette from last year. Listen, all of these palettes, you, there are probably videos on all of these palettes that I'm mentioning here. I very rarely buy palettes on my channel and never showcase them or do looks with them or do like swatches. So just expect to be able to see videos on all the palettes that I mentioned here today. This is the dreamy one. This is the first palette that they came up with. Uh, I am going to keep my Nabla palettes just so you know. Why is there a hair here? This is the Soul Blooming. This is the second palette they came up with. This is really soft and uh, unexpected. This is the Secret palette. I think this came out last year. I really like this one. I think this is a really cool palette. I like Nabla's color schemes. They appeal to both like colorful uh, color lovers and neutral lovers. This is the only palette from Nabla I don't like. This is the Poison Garden, but she still gets to stay because I want to have her for reference, for like comparisons. Uh, I like the color scheme though. I just don't like the quality. But hopefully uh, that's not the quality we're getting from Nabla again, but those get to stay. I think I'm gonna get rid of these two Makeup Geek palettes. I really like them. The Peach Bellini and the Champagne and Rose A. Champagne and Rose A. I think they have gotten rid of these palettes. Uh, and I'm gonna give them to someone who's gonna get more use out of them. I think they're discontinued. And if I want to use Makeup Geek, I have all of their singles. So I can just go into those instead. But I do, I did really like these palettes. And uh, it's a shame that they don't seem to be doing those anymore. I have three of the Sweet Shop palettes. I have the Sherry on top. This is my favorite. The red one. This matte red is exceptional and this one, this palette is exceptional. This is the blue one, the bubblegum. I like this, but like I said before, I prefer the one from Colourpop because I like the shimmers in the Colourpop more than I like this. They're really nice quality though. It's just a matter of the tones that I prefer. And this is the pistachio one. These are coming back in stock, in case you didn't know. Maybe they're already back in stock when I'm filming, like when you're seeing this. This is the green one. It's really nice. It's really nice. It's great quality. So yeah, I'm happy with the three I have. I was contemplating getting the orange one, but now looking at the orange one from Colourpop and how much I like that one, I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. 
Uh, this is the Spotlight palette by OPV Beauty. This is my favorite palette from OPV Beauty. This is just so bright and fun. And I love the shimmers in this one. I think it's a really nice palette. I'm gonna keep it. Oh my god, this is so fuzzy. <laughs> this is the Sigma Untamed palette. This is what she looks like. I really like this palette as well. If this is a color scheme that appeals to you, I don't think you would uh, dislike this palette. I'm gonna keep it. It's fairly new to my collection. Uh, I have... Oof. Guys, this is one of the best palettes this year. The Blueberry Muffin palette. I, I can't believe how many of you have bought this based on my recommendation, but I I really love this one. I think this is one of the best palettes this year. I think the quality is solid. I think the color story is solid. The shimmers are great. The mattes are great. I like this. Some of the best matte blues I've ever tried in my life. You don't even need to pack them. I'm very impressed with this palette. It definitely gets to stay. This this is what started my craze with the uh, BH Cosmetics Love. I also really like this one. The Brew Palette by uh, September Rose. This is a black owned indie brand from the UK. Beautiful palette. These are so saturated and wonderful. It's just such a great quality palette. I am extremely happy that I have this one and it gets to stay. Here is something that I like the quality, but I am going to declutter this. I will though. How am I going to do this? Because I want to rank all the palettes that was released this year. So maybe I should hold on to this one and hold on to the palettes that I bought this year so that I can rank them. So I will declutter this one after I have ranked it. So I'm putting it in the declutter pile, but I might take it out just for the ranking video. But just so you know, I am gonna declutter this one. Did I even show you the color scheme? I didn't even show you. Oh my God, I'm just expecting you to know what it looks like. It's a very neutral palette. Quality is excellent. But this is just not uh, one of my favorite neutral palettes, so I'm gonna declutter it based on the color scheme. These are two palettes that I am keeping. The Natasha Denona uh, Sunrise palette. Is it Sunrise or... Su yeah, this is Sunrise. The other one, Sunset, I don't own. Love Natasha Denona. I am keeping this one. This one, though, is the one with least, like, uh, unexpected shades in it. This is... Is this my second favorite Natasha Denona palette? Yes, this is my second favorite Natasha Denona palette. This is the Love palette. I love this one. <laughs> Pun intended, but honestly, this is a beautiful palette. This is my favorite Natasha Denona palette, though. This is the Metropolis palette. It's just so fantastic. I love this. I love this truly, and I am gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep the Lila palette though, even though that this is my least favorite Natasha Nelna palette. I'm still gonna keep it for reference. It gets to hang on in there for a bit more. So these get to stay. Uh, I'm also gonna quickly show you this one because it's still in the Easy Bake Oven. This is the Glam Light Cake palette. This is a very colorful rainbow palette. This is excellent quality. You can not take this out of the Easy Bake Oven, of course. I'm just keeping it in here because I think it looks so cute in there. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, uh, rainbow palette. I'm definitely keeping this one. I think it's great, great quality. Okay, I have another Glam Light palette here. This is the Viva Taco palette. I think that this is a great palette as well. I am keeping this one. I don't think that this is a too big of a size. The color selection is really wonderful. The quality of Glam Light shadows is impeccable. I think it's such a good palette. I might get rid of the Caliente though. I haven't reached for this um, since I got my new palettes from Glam Light. So maybe I'll get rid of this one. This is one of the older palettes, but it's still nice. But you know what? Maybe I'll get rid of that one. Uh, and then we have, this is the Unicorn, the palette that everyone wants to come back, but unfortunately it can't come back because these pigments are not available anymore. This is the Deep Sea Luster palette by Kaleidos. This is the first palette that Kaleidos ever came out with. This is what she looks like. It is a really beautiful palette and I, I understand why people want this to come back and I feel sad that that we just can't make it happen because it is truly a very stunning palette. This is the palette that made me fall in love with this brand. Uh, it's truly a spectacular palette. Um, and I'm so sorry that these are not available anymore. So sorry, but um, I shouldn't be maybe watching this. Maybe you're upset with me. Don't hate me. This is the Surrey palette. This is one of my older palettes. I think I might get rid of this one because it's so old and I haven't reached for it for a bit. But this is a good brand and I'm pretty sure that these are the brand is back. Surrey Cosmetics. But I haven't reached for it for a while and it's a pretty old palette. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the Alma palette. 
This is so bittersweet. This is my friend, Amy Loves Makeups. This is her collab with Amy Hearts Beauty. Amy Hearts Beauty is a brand that I no longer support. They have mm, not behaved very good towards influencers and they did my friend Amy really dirty and I am not supporting this brand anymore. I don't recommend you to buy from the brand, but I do recommend you to check out Amy at Amy Loves Makeup. But it's sad though, because I love the color selection that she did, but yeah, I'm gonna keep it because I love Amy, but I don't support this brand. I don't think that this is a brand that you should be shopping from. So yay, a couple of more palettes that I got rid of. Go me, I'm, 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 I'm on fire. Did you think we were done? We are not done. I'm pulling up my sleeves so that we can continue. I have a couple of Urban Decay palettes here. This is the uh, Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet. Uh, I wasn't that impressed with this palette at all. Um, I am I getting rid of this one you know what I might I might get rid of this one I will mention this uh, of course because this is from this year so I will mention this in my like ranking of this year's uh, palettes so I will keep it for that but it's going into the cutter pile and so it is this one the wired palette this isn't awful, and this isn't awful either, the Naked, but they're not especially good either, and especially not for the price. These are pretty expensive prices, so I will declutter that one as well. This one though, this one I will keep. This one I like, this is the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes. Really nice palette, I did do a video on this one. I recommend this one, I think that this is a nice palette. If you like these tones, if you like to add some more interesting, fun textures to your collection, I think you might like that one. I recommend it. <laughs> Here are some certified palettes. I will be keeping these. I think certified is such a cool brand. It is a UK based indie brand. This is the Tropical Wonders. It's a matte rainbow palette. Here is the Affinity palette. It's a like red, purpley, yellow palette. And then we have the Dynasty palette. I like this one as well. And then we have the Affinity 2 palette. Oh, this gorgeousness, blue and green. Yum, so pretty. So I will be keeping those. I will be hanging on to those. I think they're really nice and fun palettes. Here's something that I will keep because I want to do more videos uh, ranking Melt Cosmetics, but just know that this is a bad palette, according to me. This is the 420 palette. Don't think that this is good quality. If you have the same makeup preference as me, I would actually suggest you to not get this one. I won't declutter it because I, I'm having more... If, if this was just based on palettes that I will be using again, yes, I would declutter it. But I will use it on my channel again, even after uh, ranking my yearly uh, palettes. So I'm keeping it. This is this Weather, Weather by Max Up The Makeup. I like this palette, but I haven't reached for this for a long time. Maybe I should give this away. Someone will be so happy because if I were to reach for this, it would be because of these red tones and I might reach for other palettes over this one. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this one because I have so many palettes. Here are two palettes, three palettes actually. Oh, here's another certified. I'm not going to get rid of this one either. This is the Destiny palette. Uh, three palettes that I haven't used. This is the Yaya palette by Miali Beauty. This is what that one looks like, a, a neutral palette with some greens. And here is the Ayubia palette. Uh, this is a more colorful palette. I just never got around to it. Would you like to see that? Let me know if you would like to see this on my channel. This is the rebranding of Blush Tribe. I, I might do something with them if you're interested. Here's something that I haven't used either, but I really want to. I want to use this badly. This is the Clientele palette by uh, Be Perfect Cosmetics. I've heard really good things about the quality of this palette. I have not tried it, but I really want to. So I'm keeping it because I want to try it. Here are my three. Ooh, here are my three eyeshadow palettes. The bigger one from uh, Udnes Eye. Udnes Eye is a Swedish indie brand. This is Solmone, which means Sun Moon. I'm keeping it. This is. Oh, let's start with the one then. This is Elva One. Elva means like fairy or sprite. This is like a neutrally mauvey pinky tone palette. And then we have Elva Two, which is more of a bright pastel mix uh, palette. It has some glitters in it as well. Then they came out with three mini palettes. I'm also gonna save these. This is a pretty new up and coming brand. So I'm gonna save these for reference. I like them though. This is the uh, Elva 2 Mini Ocean. So this is the Mini Ocean. I do have videos on these quite re like recently-ish. And this is the Mini Sky. I think this is my favorite with the purple and the, and the browns. And then here is the Mini Forest 
with the turquoises, green and the brown. It's also really, really pretty. Then we have two palettes. These I'm gonna keep, uh, well, they are gonna get decluttered as soon as I have ranked them in my yearly uh, palettes. I hate these. This is the Morphe 9K Khaki Collin. It's decent, but definitely not good. And this is the 9C uh, Color Me Cool. This is awful, awful quality. I don't recommend this to anyone. Um, don't get this one. Like, don't get this palette. It's not any good. But I'm keeping it, I'm, I'm putting it in the declutter pile, but I will keep it for the yearly, yearly roundup review, so to speak. This is the Slush 2 by September Rose. Maybe I should have started with Slush 1, but this is the Slush 2. I think I'm gonna declutter this. Uh, I haven't reached for this a lot, and I have the Slush 1, which I like more because it has a mix of mattes and shimmers. So I think I'm keeping Slush 1. You see, I've used this a lot. I'm keeping Slush 1. I'm gonna give Slush 2 away. Maybe someone wants a rainbow palette. These are pretty new to my collection. This is the Carnival 3, the Love Tahiti. This is the one that I bought myself. It's so big. It's so big. I will keep it though. I think it is a really good palette, but it's so big. So big. But I'll keep it. I'll keep it because I think it's good quality. This is the Carnival 2, the XL Pro. This one, I got this as PR. I might give this one away. I have a friend that really wants this. So I think I might give this to her and I'll save the new one because she really wanted to get this. Um, and she said that she was saving up to get this one. And I don't need two big palettes. So I'm gonna save this one and I'm gonna give this one to her. I know that she will uh, really appreciate it. Oh my God. Okay. I need to, to sort this a bit, but I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm coming along really good, right? I think I'm coming along really good. There are some palettes to declutter here on the side. Okay, let me, let me get some more. I have more. <laughs> I have more. Again, you thought we were done? We are not done. We are not done. This is the Touch Me palette. This is Glass Gods collaboration together with Ida Schiedelmann, which is a Swedish influencer. This is a very colorful nine pan palette. I am saving this one. I think it's a really nice palette and it also came out this year. I think it's really good. Where am I gonna put palettes I'm keeping? I'm pu putting them in my lap. Here is the Miracle palette by Glamlight. I like this palette a lot. Is really really cute. I had this palette in the box that I did together with Glamlight uh, for Tri Beauty box. I'm gonna keep this one as well. Uh, it's gonna survive another declutter. This is the Magnifique palette by Labelle. I've used this palette on camera but I've only used it once and I never really got around to it but it is so so beautiful and I really do like the quality of Labelle but I am gonna give this away to someone else that's gonna get more use out of it and I feel the same about this pastel tribe I used it once on camera uh, but someone else is gonna play more with this same with the Lila too blush tribe is no longer uh, in business anyways this is the Mayali brand so I'm gonna give some of these away these are two palettes that I am not giving away this is the Palio and they are Keo palette, Arkeo palette by Cleonad. Yes, Cleonad has done palettes. This is their first palette. It's stunning. I hope that they do more palettes in the future. And this is the Arkeo palette. I'm keeping both of them. They are hand painted back when they were a super, super small company. I really hope that they do more palettes in the future uh, and maybe like order packaging so it's easier for them. This is the Riviera palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I thought that this palette got a lot of slack, but I actually like this palette. This Mediterranean shade is beautiful. I think I'm gonna save this a bit more, actually. I am gonna get rid of the Lemonade, though. I like it, but I don't reach for it enough, and I think someone else is gonna like it more, so I'm gonna get rid of the Lemonade palette. This is the Sigma Enchanted palette. Sigma has really been on a roll with their eyeshadows. This is a beautiful, cool tone palette with some more subtle pops. This is a nice palette. I'm gonna keep this uh, in my collection. This is the Midas Cosmetics and Smoky Glow. Oh, I'm so happy for Hannah and her collab. Look, I even have the uh, picture of her still in here. Such a beautiful color scheme. I love Hannah, so I'm definitely keeping this one. I'm such a big supporter. Uh, all of this gets to stay here together with the sleeve. This is gonna be worth a lot of money when Hannah is famous one day, you know? <laughs> Even more famous, I should say. She's a really big YouTuber right now. I'm so happy for her. This is the Lunar Beauty Moonspell. This is so, like, the packaging. 
is so pretty and the palette is really nice as well. Uh, when I'm filming this, I haven't seen the reveal of the Lunar Beauty holiday collection for this year, but I love the holiday collection that they did last year. I'm definitely saving it. This is a palette that I, I decluttered all of my Kat Von D, but this one has been like decoration in my room and I forgot that I had it. And every year when I'm done decluttering, like a month or two later, I see this and I'm like, oh, this one. But now I'm kind of happy I have it. I like the Saint and Sinner palette. I know that I'm like the only one that did, but I like this palette. I think I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit longer. I had fun with this palette. Maybe I'll use it one last hurrah before I give it away. <laughs> Uh, Kat Von D has sold the brand but, uh, to Kendall, so she is no longer part of the brand, so it's now named KVD Vegan Beauty. So I feel more okay with using my uh, old things now. I did buy a lot of from her brand before she made a boo-boo and I could no longer support the brand. I have another thing here, for example, two other things. I want to save both of these. This is the Lolita palette. I did get this from a subscriber. She decluttered this palette after uh, Kat Von D has actually left the brand. So I'm so happy to have this. And this palette was sent to me by LS. Uh, from Canada because it came back in stock in Canada. Oh my god, I love Ellis. Don't forget to check her out. She's back on YouTube. She makes the most amazing videos. So these palettes get to stay. I'm so happy that Kat Von D is no longer part of the brand. Where am I gonna put this? I'll put it here. This palette is actually... Oh my god, this palette is so special to me. This palette is given to me as a gift from my friend Karen Harris. I will for, for always... For always... <laughs> I will for always keep this. She gave me this palette. It's so stunning. Look at this. Oh my god. This is the subversive palette. It's so beautiful and luxurious. I can't believe that she gave me this one. I miss Karen so much. I met her t uh, twice last year and I was supposed to meet her this year as well, but I haven't. Uh, hopefully 2021 we get to see each other again. She is such a fun person. You also need to go check out her YouTube channel. She's just such a fun person. So yeah, that definitely gets to stay in my collection. Maybe it's time for this one to go. I actually did like this palette. I think I got one of the good ones. I know that there were like different batches. Some were good, some were bad. Mine was good. This one is called Dark Magic. This is the this one. But I feel like I have these shades right now in the Metropolis palette. And if I want these sh shades, I will reach for that one. So I think I'm going to declutter that one. This is uh, one of the ones from Blush Tram that I'm going to keep. The Hasina 2. Oh, this palette was really making waves. Oh, I really love this palette. I, I really still love this palette. I think it's so nice. I am going to give this one away though. The Hasina 1, the rainbow palette. I know someone's going to have a lot of fun with that one. Same with this one, the Munasa palette. Someone's going to have a lot of fun with that. I will keep this one though, the Fall Fusion, because one of the shades here, Angelica, is named after me. And this was one of the first times when the brand really recognized me. And, it, and I, I just have a lot of nostalgia uh, connected to this palette. Um, so I am going to keep it. I really did like the palette as well. Okay, let's look at a couple of more palettes. The Amrisi palette. This is the unsung hero of 2020. This is such a nice palette. Really, this is such a nice palette. I'm definitely keeping this one. Hmm, this one I've had a lot of fun with, but I think I'm gonna give it away to someone who might enjoy it more. This is actually a really nice formula. Like, this is that kind of shimmery formula that we're now seeing from a lot of brands, and we're like, oh my god, it's so nice, but Too Faced had a great formula in this palette. And they, they did not get the recognition, recognition that they deserved with this palette. These were really nice sparkly shades, but it's a bit uh, on the older side and no one's really requesting this. So I'm going to declutter it. Oh, here are two palettes that I said I was going to use, but I didn't. They're really... I like this uh, shadow quality, the Ruby May. I wanted to use them, but then I, then I never did. These are unused. Maybe I'll throw this in a upcoming giveaway as extras um, and someone might enjoy them. I am going to save this one as well. This is the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. This reminds me of a time when YouTube was a little less complicated. <laughs> So I am gonna keep it. These palettes are such good quality palettes. These are the Misha Lu. This is the Witchcraft palette. I really like this one. I thought that this was a really nice palette. And then Queen B, also a palette that I think is really good quality. This is a UK based indie brand. I am gonna keep both of them. Here is the uh, original Lorena. I think that, hmm, I think the Amrisi is my favorite 
actually on the saucy palette now that I think of it. Is this still my favorite? Hmm, this is a good question. I really do like this one though, so I am keeping that one. This is the, oh, this is the Mood by Ruby May. I'm gonna keep this one because I think the quality is really nice. So I'm keeping it because that one I have used. This is the Feral palette. I have the original. This is so heavy. I like, I get cool a bitch with this one. This is nice, but it's not my favorite, but I am gonna keep it for reference because maybe I will order something from Menagerie Cosmetics again, and it was extremely expensive for me to get it here. This is the uh, Lorac Unsip Desert Sunset. Uh, I am gonna get rid of this one. I'm sure some, someone's gonna have a lot of fun with that. And this is the Sigma Viper palette. Hmm, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one as well because I haven't reached for it for a really long time. This pains me. This is the Ace Beauté Paradise Fallen, Slice of Paradise, Blossom Passion, and Classical Paradise. I love the color scheme of this palette, but I don't love the quality. I really, listen, I know some people say the quality of these is amazing. I disagree. I never reach for these. I just want to love them so much because I love their color scheme, but I just don't. And I never reach for these palettes when I want these tones. So I think I'm gonna declutter them. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna declutter them. That felt very weird. That felt very weird, but I think it was the, the right decision because I haven't used those for years and I was just hanging on to them because I love the color scheme but I don't like the formula at all like at all okay I have a couple of more palettes I think one or two more <laughs> one or two more rounds let's go through this palette as well this is the Ofra glitch palette I didn't dislike the quality of these but I have better than this so I think I'm gonna declutter this one Let's see if someone else will really like it. This is the Blush Tribe Blossom palette. Uh, this, like I said, this brand is no longer around. I am gonna declutter this one. Hopefully uh, someone will enjoy it. Same with this one. This is the Blush Tribe Helena palette. Uh, I am gonna declutter this one as well. This brand is no longer available. This is discontinued. And even though I like this palette, I actually do not reach for it anymore. I think there might be people that are looking for this, so I might declutter this to someone who's actually looking for that palette. This is the Glaminatrix Sandra Rose palette. This is a beautiful palette. I got this very late last year or very early this year. I'm not completely sure, but I am gonna keep this one. I think it's really nice. This is the Nomad and Till palette. I do want to try a new palette for Nomad. I thought that this one was okay, but it's not fantastic and I haven't reached for it uh, since my last declutter, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Ooh, look what's hiding here. The original Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I never reach for this. It's a neutral palette with a pop of blue, and I have better palettes than this in my collection. Uh, oh my god, where am I gonna put this? So I'm putting that in the bottom. This is the OPV Beauty Tropical Dream. This is also a green palette that's really nice. Should I keep this one and hang on to it? When did I get this one? Did I get this this year? I like OPV. You know what? I'm gonna hold on to that one a bit longer. Let's see. Let's see if I can get some more use out of it. This is the Ofra Pro palette. This is the matte palette. I think someone's gonna really have a lot of fun with this palette, but it's a bit too muted for my liking. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And I'm also gonna get rid of the Makeup Revolution and the Emily Edit The Wants. I like Emily Noel. I think she is an amazing creator. I think the color story in this palette is very much her. Uh, I stand by what I said in my review of this palette. It's okay but nothing more like the quality wise I don't like makeup revolutions eyeshadow formula so I'm gonna get rid of this because no one is really asking for a throwback on this palette and I don't love the quality I'm sure there's uh, friends out there that are not like makeup savages like me that are really gonna enjoy that palette so I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to them I feel the same about these uh, makeup obsessions sunshine makes me happy and the sweet like candy I didn't like the quality of these palettes, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Uh, let's start with these. I have some Ofra 5 pens. This one is the... Oh, this one is never used. The Peachy Browns. Maybe I'll pop this in a giveaway as well. Uh, and here we have a, a beach side. What is that? Oh, that is the bright one. Did I ever use that? Let's see if I can try and see and use that, because I've never used it. Uh, and then we have the uh, Makeup Revolution and Kittelets. I think it's 
kitelets. I think I'm saying it correctly. Uh, oh, some of these are, yeah, these are highlighter palettes. I forgot about that. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this packaging and see if I can get more use out of them if I don't have them in that packaging. And it's probably the same with these small palettes. If I don't have them in the packaging, I'm gonna see if I can get some more use out of them. Uh, I met the creator in real life. She's really sweet. I did actually like the quality of these. Some people have said that Makeup Revolution has better quality in their uh, collaborations and I think you might be onto something because I like this better, but I will say I like this better than I like the Emily Noel things as well. Weird. That's weird actually. Okay, I have a couple of, let's start with this one. This is Midas Cosmetics La Dulce Vida. This is nice quality, but I haven't reached for it since my last declutter, so I'm actually gonna give this away. I'm sure that someone's gonna love that. This is the, ooh, this is the La Belle um, Color Splurge. You know what? I'll hang on to this one. It's nice. It's sleek. Uh, I do like Labelle, so I think that I might be able to get some use out of that one. And here I have the Mini Quads by Linda Halberg. This is the one that's discontinued Enchanted Secrets. This is Enchanted Mysteries. And then this is Metallic Mysteries. Uh, I don't know if these are available still. Uh, I bought this one myself and I got these as PR. So yeah, I got rid of quite a lot. I have one more go, one more round of uh, palettes and that's gonna be it. And then we can count how many I got rid of because there is a bit of a mountain next to me. <laughs> okay, last, last go. And I don't think that I'm gonna get rid of any of these because these all came from a, a palette holder with the palettes that I actually reach for a lot and that I like a lot. These are uh, palettes from Pinky Rose. This is the 80s baby. I think the quality of these palettes from Pinky Rose is actually surprisingly good. They are nice and they're pigmented and I did use the Exotic Peacock quite recently to do a member exclusive tutorial. You can be a member on my channel and get member exclusive tutorials, emojis and a symbol next to your name. And this uh, palette, the Exotic Peacock, I recently used in a tutorial. So, and this is the Obsessed one. I really like so, so pretty. I really like the quality, like I said. I recently got a code with Pinky Rose. I always have my codes down in the description box if you want to see what codes I have. But I have, no, I have bought all of these palettes myself. I have never gotten any PR from Pinky Rose, but I did uh, get a code with them. So I bought all these palettes myself. And because I love these palettes, this is the uh, Bright Lights. I had no problem uh, accepting a code because I knew I loved it. So these are these colors here. They're also getting to stay. And then here are my melt palettes, my uh, other ones that are already in my collection. This is the She's in Parties. This is stunning, stunning. Don't sleep on this palette. If you like this color scheme, this is great quality. This is the Smoke Sessions. I know that this is a lot of people's favorite palette from uh, Melt. I think I like the She's in Parties more than I like this one because I am a lover of mattes and this one only has two. And then we have the Muerte and the Vida palette. These were the holiday palettes last year, unfortunately discontinued. The Vida looks like this, very bright and colorful. I really like these palettes. My Melt is one of my favorite brands, even though they do some misses at times, they're really beautiful palettes. This is Muerte. I like this as well. This is so beautiful. I, I feel like this is a unicorn. This is Millennial Pinks. I love the color scheme of this one, but the quality isn't as good as Melt usually has, and it's mainly that I'm not head over heels for the mattes. I feel like sometimes they just do not nail it 100%. <laughs> Okay, here are the Kaleidos palettes that are left. I love Kaleidos. One of my favorite brands, one of my top five favorite brands. So these are the small futurism palettes. This is the Sci-Fi Green. <laughs> looks like this. The quality of these are just impeccable. So this is the sci-fi green. This is the, I think it's called cyber bronze. This is number two. Oh, hey. That's what that one looks like. This one has that silver metallic and that red metallic is spectacular. Maybe I can show you. Maybe I can show you. Because we're at the end and why not? Like, look at this. Like, do you see that? Those are really nice shadows. Yeah, I totally recommend those. And then we have the number three. I think this is my favorite, the Astro Pink. I really love a color scheme like this. And I think that this berry shade is fantastic. These are really nice shadows. And then we have number four. Four. I think it's this one. This is the VR Neon. This is the one that's discontinued. This was 
Ooh, heart open. This was limited edition last summer. Unfortunately, this is discontinued. I'm sorry, but it's a beautiful palette. Uh, that's what happens sometimes. Uh, they get things and they get discontinued. This one uh, also came out last summer. This one is still available though. This is the Electro Turquoise. Super stunning. Like this one here. This shadow is so crazy. Like, do you see like a turquoise gold? Oh, it's so crazy, so beautiful. And then they came out with the Lunar Lavender and the Sashimi City. This is the first one, this is number six. This is when they came out with a more neutral collection. So these are not super poppy or super like in your face. It's meant to be a softer collection for people that are not 100% into color. And this is number seven, Sashimi City. This is really a neutral palette with twists. I think a lot of people who love neutrals will love this palette. And then this is the big palette that came out this summer. This is the Escape Pod. I really like this packaging. It's like a little book. It's very similar in shape to shape and size to the um, Moonspell palette by Lunar Beauty. It's basically the same size and that's what she looks like on the inside. These colors are also like so stunning. Like. They have such amazing formulas, it's crazy. So yeah, those are some swatches from Kaleidos, one of my favorite brands, and you can, I mean, you can see why. It's just so beautiful. And that was it. I'm not getting rid of any of these last palettes. Let me clean up, let me wash my hands, and then we can count how many palettes I got rid of. It's a lot, more than I thought. I was actually afraid to film this because I was afraid I wasn't gonna declutter enough, but yeah, I decluttered a lot. Okay, let's count how many palettes I get rid of. And like I said, some of these palettes are gonna go straight into my declutter pile of like things I'm giving away to friends. And some of these are staying in my collection long enough so that I can include them in my yearly palette ranking. I'm planning to have that up in January. So let's see, one, two, Three, four, fifty-three. Fifty-three palettes. Um, that is a lot more than I thought but I am very excited. I mean, you saw how many palettes I have. One person does not need that many palettes, even though this is my job, even though I am here to help you in the makeup jungle to find the perfect palette for you. There's no need for me to be hoarding palettes that I don't reach for and who like they don't serve a purpose in my collection comparison wise. So I'm getting rid of some of these and I feel very excited about it. I will be giving these to friends and family. If they are unused, which some of these are, I will include them in giveaways. Thank you so much for watching. There is gonna be one more episode in my declutter series and that's gonna be lip products. That's coming in, I'm guessing a week, but we are in the middle of Vlogmas, so I'm gonna have a video tomorrow as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked the video and share it if you would like more to see it. This took me about a day to film. <laughs> so thank you for being here. I appreciate you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!